Jennifer Judith Jones, born July 7, 1974, is a Canadian curler. She won an Olympic gold medal as skip of the Canadian team at the 2014 Sochi Games. She is the first female skip to go through the games undefeated. The only male skip to achieve this is fellow Canadian Kevin Martin in 2010. Jones and her squad are the first Manitoba-based curling team to win an Olympic gold medal. She is the 2008 world champion, and as of 2015, is the last Canadian women's team to do so. Jones has won the national championship five times, most recently during the 2015 Scotties Tournament of Hearts. To go along with her national championships, Jones has also won the Manitoba Provincial Championship ten times. Early life and personal, Jennifer Judith Jones was born to Larry and Carol Jones who were both curlers. She also has a sister named Heather 18 months older. During her childhood, she was often described as shy. Larry Jones started teaching Jones when she was 11 although Jones' interest of the sport took up before that, in a daycare at the Saint Vital Curling Club. She attended General Vanier School in South Winnipeg from kindergarten to grade 8. After, she attended Windsor Park Collegiate. At that point, Jones was proficient at volleyball and curling. When I was in high school I really had to make a choice and it was actually my volleyball coach who told me I had to choose either volleyball or curling, and I chose curling. She told the CBC. She later attended the University of Manitoba from 1999 to 2001. In the University of Manitoba, Jones met Scott Labonte who became her significant other. She earned a BA in psychology, economics and law. She later became a lawyer, a corporate counsel for National Bank Financial. On February 10, 2012, Jones filed a divorce from Labonte citing no possibility of reconciliation. Jones then started a relationship with former world champion curler Brent Lawing from Ontario although it was not publicly known for over a year. They later got engaged to be married. Jones gave birth to her first child, Isabella Lawing prematurely on November 13, 2012 in Barrie, Ontario. Although it was a premature birth, the baby was healthy weighing over 3.2 kilograms. Honestly, she's the best thing that's ever happened to me, she said. Curling career. Juniors. Jones began curling at the age of 11. As a junior curler, Jones won three provincial junior championships and a national junior championship. Her first provincial junior competition was in 1990 when she was 15. The team was coached by Jones' dad which included her sister Heather at second, Tracy Lavery at third, and Dana Melanchuk at lead. They won one time and lost two times before being eliminated. After the tournament, Jones was recruited to play third for Jill Staub. In 1991, Jones won her first provincial junior title, playing third for Jill Stubb, Thurston. The team also included Christy Moros at second and Kelly Scott, then Mackenzie, at lead. The team represented Manitoba at the 1991 Canadian Junior Curling Championships in Leduc, Alberta. The team finished the round robin in first place, with a 10-1 record. This gave the team a bye to the final, when they lost in the final to New Brunswick, skipped by Heather Smith. After the loss, Jones set out to skipping her own team and form together the right squad. She approached Jill Officer, whom she saw great potential at the Highlander curling club in Winnipeg. We got together when we were quite young and had an instant connection on the ice and became really good friends, says Jones. Jones won her second provincial junior title in 1993 as a skip. Her team consisted of Trisha Baldwin at third, Jill Officer at second and Dana Melanchuk, Allerton, at lead. After they won the provincial juniors, they set out for the Canadian juniors. The team finished the round robin of the 1993 Canadian juniors with an 8-3 record, tied for third with Nova Scotia and Quebec. The team played Quebec, skipped by Janique Berthelot, in their tiebreaker match, but lost, eliminating them from the tournament. The following year, the team won their second straight provincial junior title. At the 1994 Canadian Juniors, the team once again found themselves in a three-way tie for third, this time with Ontario and Northern Ontario, and with a 7-4 record. In their first tiebreaker, they defeated Northern Ontario's Rhonda Halvors in 10-4. They then defeated Ontario's Dominique Lassels 10-8 in the second tiebreaker. This put the team into the semi-final, against British Columbia's Gina Richard, Shredder, whom they beat 5-3. The win put them in the final, against the first place Saskatchewan rink, skipped by Sherry Linton. The team beat Saskatchewan 8-5 claiming the 1994 Canadian Junior title. However, during the final, Jones suffered a black eye and bumped her head after tripping over her feet. Jones told the CBC, I is really sore and I've got the biggest headache of my life. Ordinarily this would mean a birth in the following year's World Junior Curling Championships, but a change in the ruling by the Canadian Curling Association, CAA, forced her to play in a playoff the following year for the right to attend, which she lost to Mackenzie's team. However, the CCA decided to give Jones' team another chance to qualify qualify and put them directly at the semi-finals which was against Mackenzie and lost, again, early women's career. After juniors, Jones would later partner up with Karen Porritt, 
poor its twin sister Lynn Fallis Kurz, and Jones Jr. lead, Dana Allerton, the team would lose in the final of the 2001 Manitoba Scott Tournament of Hearts, the Provincial Women's Championship to Karen Young. However, the following year, the Jones Rink won the Manitoba Hearts, which earned them the right to represent the province at the 2002 Scott Tournament of Hearts, the Canadian National Women's Championship. At the 2002 Hearts, she led her Manitoba Rink to an 8-3 round robin finish, which placed them in third place. This placement put them in the play Playoffs, where she lost to Ontario's Sherry Mida. The following season, Jones replaced Porritt with Kimberly Kaiser at third. The team made it to the final of the 2003 Manitoba Scott Tournament of Hearts, but lost to Barb Spencer in the final. The following season, Porritt was brought back onto the team, replacing Kaiser. The team had less success at the 2004 Manitoba Scott Tournament of Hearts, losing in the quarter final to Joel Duguid, 2005 and the shot. Jones returned to the Scott at the 2005 Scott Tournament of Hearts, with her team consisting of Kathy Gautier at lead, Jill Officer at second, and Kathy Overton Clapham at third. She would win the 2005 Scots by defeating Team Ontario, skipped by Jen Hanna in the championship game. Jones faced an extremely difficult shot to win, having to hit a rock outside of the house and roll to the button taking out an Ontario rock. Had she missed, she would have lost both the game and the tournament. The shot was perfect, scoring four points with her final stone and winning the game. CBC analyst Mike Harris described it as the best shot I've ever seen to win a game. Revered by Canadian sports media and admiring curling fans, Jones' accomplishment under pressure was quickly dubbed the shot, and, in the following weeks, became the source of talk and of attempts by novice curlers to repeat the feat in curling clubs across the country. The team's win qualified them for the 2005 World Women's Curling Championship in Paisley, Scotland. The Worlds were a disappointing tournament for her and her team, where they struggled constantly with poor ice conditions. They were knocked out of the playoffs in the 3-4 game against Dordi Nordby and her Norway rink. Team changes. In the offseason, Jones replaced Gautier at lead with 2002 Olympic bronze medalist Georgina Wheatcroft who had also won the 2000 World Championship. This was done in part to boost the team's chances at the Olympic trials in December 2005, the first time Jones had qualified for an Olympic trial. However, the team finished a disappointing 5-4 and out of the playoffs. In the trials, Jones also experienced a case of kidney stones, and was rushed to hospital. She described it as the worst pain I've ever had. Because Jones had won the 2005 Scott Tournament of Hearts, she got to return to the 2006 Scott Tournament of Hearts in London, Ontario as Team Canada. At the Hearts that year, she managed to defeat Colleen Jones's team from Nova Scotia in the semi-final before losing to her formal team mate Kelly Scott of Kelowna, British Columbia in the final. In 2006, Wheatcroft moved back to her home of Vancouver, British Columbia to live with the rest of her family and to play with her former skip. Kelly Law. She was replaced by Dana Allerton. Midway through the season however, she was dropped in favor of Janet Arnott just before the provincial playdowns. On the eve of the 2007 provincial championship, Jones decided Allerton wasn't working out and replaced her with the team's fifth player, coach Janet Arnott. Jones won another provincial championship in 2007, earning her a berth at the 2007 Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Jones made the playoffs again, but lost to Kelly Scott again, this time in the semi-final. During the offseason, Jones switched leads again gaining Don Askin who had moved from Ottawa looking for a team from Jen Hanna's rink. Jones won her first Canada Cup of Curling on March 17, 2007 with three wins and two losses. After a bittersweet 2009-2010 curling season in which Jennifer Jones' rink won the 2010 Scotties Tournament of Hearts, they went 8-3 in the round robin and won the page playoff game 8-5 against Kathy O'Rook of Prince Edward Island which took them to the finals. Aaron Carmody's team managed to tie the game. Jones then knocked the opposing team stone out of the four foot and won her third consecutive Canadian championships. They also took bronze in the 2010 Ford World Women's Curling Championship, and lost out in the 2010 Players' Championships. The team decided to replace third Kathy Overton Clapham, replacing her with the younger Caitlin Laws in time for the 2010-2011 curling season. World Championship Success In the 2007-2008 curling season Jones celebrated several successes including winning the 2007 Autumn Gold Grand Slam as well as the 2008 Manitoba Provincial Championship. Winning the 2008 Manitoba Provincial Championship qualified her to represent the province at the 2008 Scotties Tournament of Hearts in Regina, Saskatchewan. Jones got off to a slow start, having just a 3-4 record to start off the week, but then got in four consecutive wins for a 7-4 record which earned a spot in the tiebreaker match where she defeated Newfoundland and Labrador's Heather Strong by a score of 6-3. In the first playoff game, Jones edged Quebec skip Marie-France LaRouche with a score of 6-5. She advanced 
advanced to the semi-finals, where she defeated Ontario's Sherry Midaw 9-8 by stealing a point in the extra end. In the final, Jones faced Alberta's Shannon Clybrink. In the semi-finals, they beat Ontario's Sherry Midaw 9-8 which gave them a spot in the finals against 2006 Olympic bronze medalist Shannon Clybrink. In the final stone, Clybrink had the opportunity to score a big end for the win but only managed to knock out one Manitoba stone giving Jones' team a 6-4 victory and was crowned Canadian champions for the second time. Because of the win at the Canadian Championships, Jones got to compete at the 2008 World Women's Curling Championship in Vernon, British Columbia. This time, they had access to the top coaches, athletic therapists and sports psychologists like Dr. Cal Botteril. During the round robin, Canada was defeated by Bing Yu Wang of China. They were down 6-1 in in four ends to Debbie McCormick of America when coach Janet Arnott delivered a speech. TSN analyst Kathy Gauthier said I heard Janet say something once and it really struck in my head. The Canadians made a comeback winning that game 10-9 and winning every game after that except to Angelina Jensen from Denmark which they lost 6-3. They also lost to China again. After a comeback, Jones made it into the finals and defeated China to capture her first world championship by a score of 7-4. Jones finished the week with an overall record of 11-3. Repeat championships. In 2009, Jennifer Jones and her team competed at the 2009 Tournament of Hearts. They went on a record of 7-4 which lead to a tiebreaker match against Rebecca Jean McPhee of Prince Edward Island. They found themselves losing 3-0 but won 6-5. They beat Quebec's Marie France 12-8 in the semi-finals and beat Marla Mallet from British Columbia to 8-5 to win her second consecutive title. The win at the Scotties sent the Jones rink back to the World Championship. But as in 2005, the outcome was disappointing. Jones was defeated in the bronze medal game by Angelina Jensen from Denmark. She ended the season by winning her third players championship. Jones participated in the 2009 Canadian Olympic curling trials in mid-December. There the team played a 2-5 record and ended up tied for sixth place and off of the playoffs. She later revealed that she was sick all week unable to play well. We worked really, really hard and wanted to excel at this event, but it just didn't work out, Jones told reporters. Jennifer Jones and team again returned to the Scotties as defending champions. Team Canada. In the round robin, the team managed to finish tied for first but second overall to upstart Pay with an 8-3 record. The page 1 versus 2 playoff featured Pay facing Jennifer Jones which saw Jones winning and through to the final. Pay would go on to beat Ontario in the semi-final to force a rematch of the 1 versus 2 page playoff. In the finals, Pay was winning 6-3 through 6 ends. Jones stole a point in the 8th and 2 more in the 9th to make it 7-6 for Team Canada. PEI tied the game with a single point in the 10th forcing an 11th end. Finally, Jones picked a yellow PEI stone out of the forefoot in the extra end to win the tournament, completing another Scotty's comeback, and secured her third consecutive tournament of hearts victory and fourth STOH victory in total. It's pretty incredible and the way we won, the way we came back, said Jones. Jones' third win in a row put her in the elite company of Vera Pizer and Colleen Jones, no relation to Jennifer, as the only skips to have won three tournament of hearts in a row. As this was also her fourth win in total she and second Jill Officer became part of a group of four to have won four Scotties, they joined Vera Pizer and Lee Morrison of Saskatoon. The win was Kathy Overton Clapham's fifth in total this moved her one off Colleen Jones in the record book and alongside the legendary Joyce McKee of Saskatchewan and Nova Scotians Mary Ann Arsenault, Nancy Delahunt and Kim Kelly. At the 2010 Ford World Women's Curling Championship, after finishing the round robin with a 10-1 record, she lost all her playoff games, except the bronze medal final against Sweden. With that bronze, Jones claimed her second world championship medal in four tries. At the 2013 Tournament of Hearts, where her Manitoba rink finished second, Jones became the second Canadian woman to record 100 wins as a skip at the Canadian Championships. 2014, Jones competed at the 2013 Canadian Olympic Curling Trials where she managed to qualify as the top seed through the round-robin play which meant the team went directly to the finals. There she defeated Sherry Middaw 8-4 and won the right to represent Canada at the Olympics for the first time. She skipped the Canadian women's team at the 2014 Winter Olympics to a gold medal. Jones is the first ever female skip in Olympic history to be undefeated throughout the tournament. The only male skip to achieve it being fellow Canadian Kevin Martin in 2010. After the win she said that we're Olympic gold medalists. It's something that you dream of for your entire life. It's what every athlete wants to do and we did it today. And we did it in a way 
way where we played so consistent all week, on the biggest stage for sport, we came out and played our best, and I'm so so proud of us. From October 29th to November 2nd, Jones participated at the 2014 Masters Grand Slam of Curling. Jones was beat by Skip Allison Flaxy of Ontario 6-1 in draw 1. Jones still managed to get to the playoffs, and had beaten Skip Sherry Mida in the quarterfinals 6-5. In the semifinals, she lost to Skip Margaretha Sigfridson and was eliminated from the tournament. Down to 4-3, Jones scored a point to tie the game. However, Sigfridson broke the tie by finishing the game 5-4. Grand Slam record. Jones has won a career 11 Grand Slam victories since the Women's Grand Slam was introduced in 2006, more than any other female skip. Former events. Note, Jones did not play at the beginning of the 2012-13 season due to her pregnancy. She returned to the team in January, in time for that year's Players Slam. Teams. Notes Jones was on maternity leave for the beginning of the 2012-13 curling season, and returned to her team in January 2013. McEwen is currently on maternity leave for the beginning of the 2015-16 curling season, and is expected to return to the team in November 2015. Honors. In 2014, she was made a member of the Order of Manitoba, 